Well, everyone, I wanted to go ahead and kind of talk about some of the best performing cheap Samsung phones that are available right now. Now, these devices range from a lot of different price tags, but I will probably tell you the sweet spot between a really, really good performing Samsung phone and a cheap price tag is probably something like a Samsung Galaxy S21. I actually do think that this type of device is probably one of the better priced phones you can actually buy in this day and age, considering that it's still supported with software. It's still good to go. It's basically a very good Samsung phone and you can buy it for a very cheap price. Like this type of phone is like around $250, probably even cheaper than that in a lot of different places. In fact, you can buy an S21 FE for, you know, probably like less than $350. The thing I love about the Samsung Galaxy S21 or the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus is that this type of device, you are still getting that Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset inside and 8 gigabytes of RAM. That is a very decent amount of you know RAM and a very good chipset to have inside of a device like this one. So the thing that I like the most about the S21 is that one, you're still getting a very good display. This display is still very, very decent, but you're also getting that chipset that is very strong. A lot of like handheld Android emulation, you know, systems are still coming out with this type of chipset. And that's very important to keep in mind because with this type of device, you are unlocking and utilizing that chipset with a very good display and you're getting like a phone built in as well. So if you want, you can still use this phone as a normal device. And that is something that I really do like about this particular phone. Now, if you want to go even cheaper, you can always go for the Galaxy S20. The S20, I think, is still like a good device for the most part, but it's not perfect. Like I said about this before, but I feel like Samsung, again, with the S20, it was a big hardware change. Performance-wise, it wasn't like the best performing phone of all time, but it was still like a good performing phone nonetheless. So with something like the S20, you're still getting a very good display. You're still getting very good build quality and everything, which is still very, very awesome. And with this type of phone, you're getting a very decent display, but you're also getting that Snapdragon 865 chipset inside, which is actually a pretty good chipset. I've said this before, but I definitely do like a phone like this. And I definitely do think that if you're trying to get a device, this is still a very good performing phone. You're still getting eight gigabytes of RAM. And I definitely do think you're getting the same amount of RAM as the S23. The chipset inside definitely, definitely isn't as good as the S23, but it's still a very decent chipset at that. And I would just kind of recommend, like, if you want to go and buy a device, this is not a bad option either. And I'd probably recommend just picking it up if you want a good phone from a cheap, you know, performance standpoint. But this phone is no longer getting software support, which is kind of the issue, which is why I prefer the S21 over this particular phone. Now, again, if you want the best performing phone of all time, the S23, the S22, those types of phones are definitely going to be giving you a much better experience but i would say that the s23 has gone down in value quite a bit so you can always go ahead and buy that one in the used market as well so those are pretty much the first kind of phones i'd recommend buying that are cheap that are decent performing samsung's if you have any other thoughts or questions let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would me so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then